I recently got a raise and with the amount that I'm making, I'm actually on the way to make six figures in my first year as a new graduate nurse. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Krizia and this is Chance. And I decided to make a video today to basically give an update of how it's been nine months post graduating West Coast University. And while I talk in this video, I'm actually gonna be combing out Chance's hair. And it's just gonna be an update of how things have been going and just something that I really wanted to talk about because the biggest question and biggest concern that a lot of people DM me about is, is West Coast U worth it? And the fact that people have been discouraged or have been told by family members, friends, or people that they know to not go to West Coast because of the fact that it has or because of the fact that it's so expensive, right? People don't want to go because of how much it's going to cost and that it's going to be a lot more cheaper if they went to the community or community college route and then did a dual BSN um, while they're in the ADN program. But for some people, they don't have that option because of the fact that it costs a lot. I mean, not that it costs a lot because of the fact that it takes longer for that route, even though it is a lot more cheaper. I wanted to kind of just talk about how my experience has been so far. I did go to West Coast University in California, specifically the Orange County campus. Um, and I graduated of January 19th or end of January of this year. I took the NCLEX in March, passed at the end of March, got my first job as a hospice nurse as a new graduate in beginning of June, June 1st actually. The first question that I get a lot is one, can you get a job with a degree at West Coast University? Yes, you can because West Coast University do, does have the accreditation for you to practice and sit for the NCLEX, which is the test in order to receive your license as a registered nurse. So yes, you can practice nursing with a license and work at any hospital with your nursing license that is obtained from taking the NCLEX and the getting the accreditation and going to school at West Coast University. So yes, it can. I would say that if you're gonna look into other schools, please, please research the information and check to see what type of accreditation that the school has because sometimes there are certain schools that say that they're nursing schools, like career schools, but they don't really have the actual accreditation for you to sit down for the NCLEX or not sure if that information is accurate, but the most important thing to get from this is to basically research the school that you're looking into and make sure that they're properly accredited in order for you to sit down for the NCLEX and in order for you to get your nursing license. Because why would you go to a school that's not accredited for you to not sit down and get your license? I've gone to so many clinicals um, in my area where I was at school, a lot of them are West Coast University alumni. Even my professors are West Coast, alum West Coast alumni like 10 years ago or like literally when the program started or when they just started making changes. So also I'm using this rosehip oil, which is a moisturizing and detangling shine spray for chance. Um, makes it smell good. I also cut his face yesterday because you weren't able to see his eyes and his eyes are so hard to see but now you can see his beautiful beautiful eyes um anyways back to the question you will go to your clinicals and you will have a lot of people who are alumni from west coast and that just verifies and just shows that yes you can work anywhere um with your west coast university bachelors and no one at the end really cares about where you end up getting your bachelors because all that matters is as long as you have your license, you are good to go. Does a school have a negative or bad reputation when it comes to the healthcare field? And I'm gonna say that yes, this school does have, have a negative reputation because of the fact that it is expensive and everyone says that oh, anyone can get in and anyone can get a bachelor's in nursing. If you go to West Coast University well let me tell you that the program itself is very rigorous it's not easy it's just as difficult as every other program there is and it's not just an easy pass you can't like there's no way for you to just go to class once don't even study and get your diploma from West Coast University it takes a lot of work and so if you go to West Coast University you know that you deserve that diploma and it was not an easy thing to get 
that was what I would say is a negative reputation. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the biggest concern that a lot of people have is the fact that West Coast is so expensive. And that West Coast is so expensive and that people look down upon going to the school. I've had so many people DM me because of the fact that families, friends, people that they know of have actually discouraged them from going to the school. And the biggest reason they have is why? Because it's so expensive. Now, is the fact that it's gonna cost $100,000. And yes, you're like, where am I gonna get all this money to pay for? Well, there's something called student loans, right? So there's student loans that you can get. But the biggest concern of people is that, I don't wanna be drowning in debt. What am I gonna do? Well, I'm not sure what people mean when they're drowning in debt. All I'm gonna say is, you're not gonna be drowning in debt. You are gonna be making enough money to be able to afford to pay back your tuition. You're gonna get a job when you graduate from West Coast. You're gonna get a job as a nursing, as a nurse, because of the fact that nursing has so many opportunities and there's always gonna be a job. And even though it's not the job that you initially wanted or the place that you wanted, there you will still get a job. Um, and trust me, you will. It's just difficult to get into a new graduate program um, and it's so competitive, but you are able to get into a lot of different hospitals. It just may not be your first choice. When people tell me that they have family members that tell them don't go because it's so expensive or don't go, or friends that tell them not to go because it's so expensive, go find another place. Well, for one, that is not their decision to make. It's your decision. And where, if your biggest concern is drowning in debt, like what my concern was, let me just tell you that as long as if you're financially responsible, as long as if you take charge and take control of your finances then you're able to pay off these loans now i'm a new graduate and i recently got a raise and with the amount that i'm making i'm actually on the way to make six figures in my first year as a new graduate nurse okay that's a good thing to hear right um and it is possible i mean even though i live in california the the salaries or the pay for nurses here are a lot more higher than any other state. It still is the fact that I'm making a good amount of money where I'm not drowning in debt. As long as if you don't make these luxury lifestyle or live a luxury lifestyle and just spend money and not think about your financial responsibility, then you will be drowning in debt. What I like to tell a lot of people is that this is an investment into your career and into your future. Um, and people don't tell you, you know, when if you're gonna buy a car, you take out a loan. If you're gonna buy a home, you're gonna take out a mortgage loan. And me and my fiance have a mortgage right now for $460,000. Okay, that's how much our home cost. And did people tell us, no, don't buy a home because it's so expensive? No, because over time in the future, our home is gonna build equity. We're putting in money that we will be able to get back once we sell our home, right? So it's like saying, well, what's the difference if you're gonna be doing this as a career? If you're gonna be taking out a loan as a career in order to make more money in the future. So let me give you guys a story and a background story of why I was happy going to West Coast and why I believe that going to West Coast for me was worth it because one, it was the fastest route for me. So let's just start off to the beginning of when I decided to go to West Coast. So I graduated from UC Irvine in 2016, got a job at a medical office, getting paid $16.25, okay? $16.25. <sighs> Sorry, this is my fiance sneezing. $16.25, okay, I was getting paid that much an hour, working 40 hours a week. Um, I Like in a month, I was probably making like two, three thousand dollars $3,000, okay, after taxes. Um, and I was basically living off of that. And I decided like, no, I want to further my career. I want to do more. And so I decided to go to West Coast uh, orientation, orientation, a West Coast seminar, basically. So I went in Mar in May of 2018, decided that I went to go meet up with them, started West Coast right away in August of 2018. I left my job 
Um, and that was when I went to school as a full-time student. So from 2018 to 2021, I was in school and I was lucky enough to have the support from my family and my fiance through nursing school to help me out. Now that I've graduated since January, okay, this has been um, at, at three years since I, 18, 19, 20, 21, about three years, yeah. So I started off from making three years ago, $16 and 25 cents an hour, working at a medical office that I was not happy with. I hated going to work. I woke up every single day just dreading to go to work into going to school full time, getting the support from my fiance, getting the support from my family, and then graduating this January, landing my very first RN job and already on the way to making six figures on my first year as a new graduate nurse. Okay, I'm already making triple the amount that I was making three years ago because of the fact that I decided to go to West Coast or to go into nursing, finish off in two years, and here I am and able to buy a home. I'm able to have two dogs that I can financially support and I can say that I'm not drowning in debt, okay? Um, the amount of loans that I have to pay for monthly right now is $600 for my private loan. And because of the fact that the financial federal loans are on a um, break or that they have stopped it for now because of Biden and Trump and this whole student loan um, situation, it is on hold right now. So I don't really have the exact amount of money that I'm gonna be paying for for that amount. So right now it's about 600. Okay, so taking the fact that I make about $10,000 gross a month, taking out the taxes, that's about, depending on if I work overtime or not, six to $7,000 a month, okay? That's after taxes. And taking to the fact that I would be paying off my loans, which would, I'd say, estimate cost about $1,200 to $1,500 a month. I'd still be left with about five thousand dollars to pay for my mortgage to save up and to do other stuff so i'm not saying that like everyone is going to get to where i'm at right now as a new graduate but you will get to that point where you're able to make money and you're able to pay it off so i just want to show you guys the positive side and though i don't want you all to think that you're you're all going to like start making six figures in your first month because it depends on where you live it depends on what kind of job you get um and there's a lot of factors, but I just want to share my story and let you guys know, you know, what, how it's been with me and why I thought that West Coast was the best option for me. Um, and so if you're someone who's looking to start school right away, to finish right away, and just basically just start your life, because a lot of the times, a lot of the people that go to West Coast is because they're a little older like me. <laughs> well, not older, but dude, I'm like almost 30 already. And I didn't want to wait. People who go like have kids already. They're, they're trying to live their lives and this is exactly what I wanted to do and why it worked out for me. And in the end, in the end going to West Coast was definitely, definitely worth it me speaking from nine months from graduating west coast and making a good amount of money and basically living the life that i want um so if it wasn't for me trying to save up for my wedding and um basically that's the main reason why but i would honestly be tackling my loan so much more if it wasn't for me saving up for my wedding um and that's just how it's been. That's something that I definitely do want to document more about, but nine months post graduating, this is where I'm at. And so and if you're still thinking about wanting to go to West Coast and wanting, not sure what you want to do, go to West Coast. If nursing is something that you love, if people, if you love helping people, nursing is definitely for you. Don't just go into it because of getting paid really well. You have to be a certain type of person to go into nursing, but I'm lucky to have found a place that I'm lucky to have found a job that I enjoy a lot um, and that I love doing and getting paid really well for it. So there you go, guys. That is an update. I, it's literally Friday night right now and just wanted to share that story and let you guys know because i've been getting a lot of dms about that so thank you guys for watching i know i've been a little bit behind on making videos but i'm just having a very hard time on trying to figure out what kind of stuff i want to record and create um but i hope you guys have seen something or taken something good away from this video and i wish you guys good luck on your journeys on on what you decide to do right, see you guys next time